Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I am a full-time reseller and today I have another Goodwill bins haul for you guys. Surprise, surprise. If you're new around here, I go to the Goodwill bins, which is where you pay by the pound to find items to flip online for profit on places like eBay and Poshmark. And today I have about 30 items to show you guys. I went earlier this week. I got a whole bunch of items, about a hundred, I think actually like 106 items, a couple personal items as usual, but I only paid a dollar and 26 cents per piece and one of the items I'm going to show you today is going to pay for my entire trip not just the haul I'm showing you today but my entire trip the other day to the bins which is exciting I love when that happens so let's just jump right into it we have so many good pieces to get through today <music> So we're just gonna start with the best piece, the one that's going to pay for my entire trip. You guys, I actually technically didn't even find this. My boyfriend was with me the day that we went to the bins and he found this, he brought it over. He didn't even know what it was, honestly. And he brought it over to me, I saw it and I'm like, wow, first of all, who donates this? But this is a Taylor Swift folklore cardigan. Now, if you know anything about Taylor Swift, I'm sure you know she has been very popular, especially over like the past few years. I mean, Taylor Swift has such a following. I'm sure you know. So I was not shocked when I looked up comps. I mean, I was kind of shocked. I did not expect this to go for as much as it's going to, but I knew it would go for a pretty penny. So when I looked up comps on this exact cardigan, this one is in excellent condition, by the way. It is definitely pre-owned, you know, not new with tags, but it has no stains no holes the embroidery like the patches are in great shape but anyways when i looked this up these are selling pre-owned and new for around 350 dollars it is crazy what some people would pay for stuff so this was like a limited edition kind of merch release i guess when this album came out so you can no longer buy these brand new unless it's on the secondhand market so some people have this exact cardigan listed for like five hundred dollars but i saw two recent solds one was i believe on an auction and one was not but these are consistently selling like taylor swift cardigans have about a hundred and twenty five percent sell through rate so i know this is going to sell anyways one brand new sold for three hundred and fifty dollars and the pre-owned one sold for right around that same amount i forget how much 320 350 something like that which is wild like i said people have these listed right now for around 500 dollars 400 dollars 350 dollars all over the place but i'm going to list mine at 350 dollars buy it now not an auction and i have a feeling this is going to go really fast so we shall see i was really really excited about that piece I have a bunch of shoes to show you guys today as well. I will save those for the end of the video, but this next piece is a new with tags. I've never heard of this brand, but I picked it up because of the style and because it is new with tags, but the brand is Elwood. This is a men's size extra large. Like I said, new with tags, trucker denim jacket, kind of has that fading in the front, a little bit of distressing. These pieces, when I did a comp, these are selling for between 40 and $50. So I'm gonna list mine right around $50 these i originally picked up for myself but then when i got home i realized they're a size extra short i am a tall girl i'm like five nine so there's no way that these would work for me but these are american eagle jeans which i love american eagle jeans they're like my favorite they're so comfortable these are new with tags and these retailed for 50 dollars, which is wild but these are a size 12 extra short mom jeans so yeah definitely not gonna work for me entirely too short but i'm gonna be listing those right around 25 dollars this piece you know definitely not the right time of year for it but i could not leave it behind look at this little patchwork sweater kind of fall themed has acorns birds a little apple there maybe even a pumpkin i think that's supposed to be a pumpkin oh my goodness so adorable i love selling pieces like this you guys probably know this what I'm wearing kind of reminds me of this, but this is just by the brand Croft and Borrow, women's size extra large. This I'm going to be listing right around $35. This piece is a super old free people piece. Like I've never seen this tag before. This is so, so old. Look at that free people size eight, but I love the style of it. And I feel like somebody will still like it today. Super boho, super kind of cottagey 
low neck, has a beading and embroidery on the front there. The straps are like knit, which is interesting. And then it has this belt that ties in the back and connects to this detailing on the front. And then there's embroidery at the bottom. So I can use so many keywords for this. What's actually really funny is when I did a comp on this item to see if anybody else had this exact dress listed, somebody has this listed for like $70. I definitely know that is ridiculous. <laughs> that's, that's a little much. I think I'm going to list mine right around $25. I really don't want to sit on this for a long time. And since it's, since it's a really old piece, I'm unsure of how that's going to do. So I think I'm going to list mine around $25 or $28. This piece is a men's piece, actually a pink piece, which pink in men's pieces can sell really well but the brand is bobby jones which is a golf brand never heard of it 100 percent peruvian cotton size large there is a little bit of discoloration here i don't know if you could see it right where like the collar folds down i will definitely note that in my listing but i just love this bright pink and there's embroidery on the back super soft that peruvian cotton is just so soft this i'm gonna be listing right around 24 dollars. i think that pink will oh, i think that pink will really help sell it so this next thing is actually they are harem pants but they are by the brand harem pants which is actually interesting i had a really hard time finding comps on this exact brand but these were made in india i could not find a size tag but these are a pair of harem pants like jogger style they cinch at the bottoms here look at this bright pattern smocking at the top with a waistband i'm gonna list these around a size medium i believe that's what they would fit definitely gonna do measurements and you know super flowy boho hippie vibes these i'm gonna be listing right around 25 dollars and i love the bright pattern of this that will definitely help it this next piece is a vintage piece by the brand Ame player never heard of it but it's like a vintage golf brand men's size large it's this plaid pullover windbreaker and then it has this embroidery right here and when i did a google image search of this what's funny is polo by ralph lauren has a vintage piece almost identical to this like with embroidery here everything so i think in my description i'm gonna put like a ralph lauren ralph lauren look-alike or ralph lauren dupe something like that and i'm gonna list that right around 30 dollars this i was actually shocked when i looked up comp so this brand i'm really picky with but when i saw this lip print I could not leave it behind. This is by the brand Joie, which is sold at Anthropology sometimes. Size small, but again, look at this lip print. Long sleeve button up blouse, has roll tab sleeves, two pockets in the front. There are none of this exact piece listed on eBay with the white and red. There are some black and red ones listed. I saw a couple tank tops listed, but some people have these listed outrageously again, like for $60, $70. These actually though have sold the black one at least. I didn't see any white ones sold, but again, there are no white ones available either. Um, but the black ones have sold for $40, which is just mind blowing for me pre-owned. So I'm going to be listing mine right at $40 and we will see how that goes. I wish I would have gotten this before Valentine's Day. I feel like this lip print would have been perfect for Valentine's Day. This next piece, not really the time of year, maybe shouldn't have picked it up, but I love selling merino wool pieces. They do so well for me, especially men's sweaters. This is just by the brand Jack Nicholas. Nothing really special, but it has 100% merino wool, has this argyle print, which I really like. This is super soft, in excellent condition, feels like it's never been worn, has no pilling, like zero to none. A little tiny bit on the back, but nothing major. This I'll be listing around $25. Now this piece is a Playboy and PacSun piece. Size extra small, pair of sweatpants, kind of flare at the bottom, total Y2K vibes. And then look at the back with the butt hit there with the Playboy bunny spell out and the logo on the top. I'm definitely going to have the back as my cover photo so people can see that. I'm actually surprised that these aren't going for more money. These are only going for right around $25, which is what I'm going to be listing mine for. And I can add so many keywords like Y2K, preppy, 
spell out logo in my description. I will put like butt logo, you know, behind logo, something like that. This next piece I probably should have left behind. I did not look it up in the store, but this is by the brand Logo Lounge by Lori Goldstein. This is a women's size, extra large pair of pull on joggers. I just loved this floral trim here. Super soft jersey knit, has pockets. These are so comfortable. Like I wish these were my size. I would definitely keep them. And these are only going for right around $20. So probably should have looked up a comp, but that's totally fine considering I only paid a dollar and 26 cents for it. So those I'm gonna be listing, I think right around $22. This piece my boyfriend found and I did not realize until I was doing my inventory and putting it in my inventory spreadsheet of what the brand was. But this is a vintage Diane Von Fursterberg girl size five dress. Look how adorable this is. I believe this is from like the 80s and it has these bow buttons all the way down the front. So adorable. I thought this was the back at first, but I'm pretty sure it's the front because the tag is back here. You know what I mean? It has little cold shoulders with little puff sleeves. Like these are so, are there shoulder pads in there? There's like tool underneath almost. It doesn't really feel like tool, but kind of like tool at the sleeve. I have never seen that before. That is so interesting. But yeah, little puff sleeves. This is so adorable. I'm going to be listing it by itself. Some kids pieces I will save until I have a couple of the same size and lock them up together. But I think I should be able to get between $15 and $20 for that piece. So I'm going to list it around $20. Now, you guys, this next piece is kind of exciting. If you saw my video a couple videos ago when I went to the Goodwill outlet, I found a super rare pair of vintage Oshkosh baby overalls. They had this super cute floral print, fruit print. So cute. Well, you guys, literally, this was the next trip after that one, I found another pair of vintage from the 90s made in the USA Oshkosh overalls. And they're the same exact style, this vest back, which I didn't really realize the first time. I didn't even put that in my title with the first pair. But look at these adorable pink railroad striped bib overalls. These are a girl size 3T. This pattern unfortunately is not going to sell for $200 like my other pair did but this pink striped I should be able to get around $30 for and again vintage made in the USA has a paper tag which is how I was able to really tell that it is vintage but yeah girl size 3t this does have a decent amount of staining on it unfortunately I don't know if you can really tell but really all throughout this, there is some staining on it, which I will definitely note. Some people have this exact piece listed for around $50. I'm going to list mine lower because of the staining. Probably going to list mine right around $35. This piece, now this brand I typically only pick up plus sizes, but I could not leave this behind. This is a Bob, Ma Bob Mackie wearable art size medium, 100% silk blouse. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I love the trim around the buttons. Kind of has that patchwork look, geometric with some floral pops, has flip cuffs, three quarter sleeves. You can wear them rolled up or rolled down. I just love this perfect spring piece. This I'm gonna be listing around $35. This is more of a winter piece, but I sell these items, these types of sweaters so well. This is a Liz Claiborne size small, wool blend, full zip, embroidered floral jacket. Has like that boiled wool. And I've sold a lot of vests with this boiled wool and embroidery. Now this, you know, I'm not gonna get a lot of money for it but I'm hoping that it goes quickly. This I'm gonna be listing right around $25. This piece I thought about keeping for myself, but I don't think I'm going to. I picked this up based off of style. This is just an Alfred Dunner piece, size 12. Definitely an older tag, but I love this floral print button up blouse. Kind of is textured. I don't know if you guys can see that, but has this texture detailing on it. It's like semi sheer. I envision this at the beach over my bathing suit. I just adore this. Has three quarter sleeves. This I'm going to be listing around $22. This next piece, I just love this piece. So this is a vintage Amy Buyer from like the Y2K era reversible faux fur jacket, leopard print. Oh 
my goodness and then you guys on the elbows it has floral embroidery oh on the one elbow it has floral embroidery and then the other side is just a faux fur or not a faux fur faux suede and then the trim has a leopard print on it oh my goodness and then better yet okay I said this is vintage and it is new with tags so I'm gonna be listing this piece right around $50 I love this leopard print it kind of looks like hearts look at that and then on the other side the pockets have those same oh wait no I thought they did the one pocket has a flower embroidered there and then the buttons I just thought were so unique as well. They kind of have that cheetah leopard print look to them. They kind of actually reminded me of cow print. But I just absolutely adored this piece. This is a women's size large. And yeah, I'm excited to see how that goes. Too bad I didn't get that like earlier in the winter season. But I'm hoping it still sells. And then we have two more clothing pieces. And then I will show you guys the shoes that I got. So this is just a crew cuts, which is a J crew kids one piece rash guard swimsuit size four to five. This is actually pretty faded, I believe. So I maybe should have left this behind, but we're going into the perfect time of year for this. I'm going to list this right around $18, hoping to at least get 15 for it. This next piece, I kind of regretted picking up, but anytime I see a vintage Woolrich jacket, I just can't leave it behind. I don't know why, but this is a vintage women's Woolrich jacket, size large. This is a wool blend and it has a scarf with it. It's like this teal blue color. Of course, you know, probably should have left this behind because we're not really in the right time of year for this, but I thought I would go ahead and get it anyways. And yeah, this I'm going to be listing on that lower end. A lot of people have these listed for like 50 to $60. I'm going to list mine right around $40 in hopes that it sells before we get too far into spring. All right, so let's jump into the shoes. This first pair, I definitely have to clean off. I got these for my son though. Pair of Vans, they have like these flame print. I could not leave these behind. These are not gonna fit in for another couple years, but again, I could not leave them behind, especially for a dollar and 26 cents. And they have the zip backs, which I really like. I just gotta scrub these down really good. This pair of shoes was the first thing I found when I walked in. If you watched my last video, you may remember those pair of Y2K Skechers booties that I found at the bins. They sold already, by the way, for $100. I only paid $1.31 for those. That's wild. I'm getting so much hate on that short video, on that reel on Facebook, which is so funny. But anyways, the first thing I found when I walked into the bins the other day was another pair of Skechers. Oh my goodness. Now these are a more modern pair made to look retro. And these were actually sold at Urban Outfitters, which I realized when I got home and did a comp. But these are a women's size seven and a half, if I remember. Yes, seven and a half. These super chunky platform sneakers, patent leather. These do have a little bit of wear on them, but nothing major. These are in excellent condition. And I'm going to be listing these around $50. This pair, I debated whether or not to keep for myself, but I don't really know how much I would actually wear these. And because of what I can list them for, I'm going to sell them. So these are a super adorable pair of born booties. They have this braiding here. This leather kind of looks distressed intentionally. And then you guys, the soles are in excellent condition. They look like they've never been worn or maybe a couple of times, a handful of times. There is a stone in there. <laughs> but I tried these on. They fit me perfectly. They're a women's size 10, which is my size. I have a big foot and because they're size 10, they should definitely do better. I forget exactly what these are called, but these were handcrafted apparently. And these specific booties can do really well. I saw a pre-owned pair sell on best offer for $60, a new pair sold for like $70 because mine are in such great condition. I just could not keep them I just couldn't so I'm gonna be listing mine right around $60 on eBay hopefully they do well I really really like this style just so adorable with the braiding so next pair of shoes is another pair of boots these are by Timberland and these are Mount Masson something like that hiking boots waterproof black these do have a little bit of wear on them especially on the top there. But these I'm gonna be listing right around $35. They're selling 
between $35 and $50 pre-owned. Because mine have a little bit of wear on the tops there, I'm gonna list them a little bit lower. Now these I maybe should have left behind. They're pretty beat up, they're pretty warm, but I'm pretty sure I could wash these in the washing machine, which is, which is what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna research it a little bit. Um, but these definitely have wear left in them, which is why I picked them up. And I don't find this brand a lot. These are Hoka's, Hoka 1-1's, Clifton 8's, I believe was the name. Yes, Clifton 8, women's size 9B, 9 is a better size. And yeah, as you can see, these have a decent amount of wear. They do have a stain. Where's the stain at? I saw a decent stain. I mean, there's some staining like all over them, but I feel like I can definitely wash these in the washing machine. I feel like I can spray some of my Oxy Max Force on there. These do have some wear on the soles, as you can see. But like I said, they definitely have some wear left in them. So if I can get these cleaned up real good and looking a little better, I'm probably going to be listing mine right around $40. These are selling between $35 and $50 pre-owned. So yeah, going to be listing mine on that lower end. These are a pair of Vans. I'm really picky with my Vans, but I really liked this style, which is why I picked it up. And yeah, these are the called the Skate High Reissue. I think they had like a vintage pair back in the day, exactly like this. These are the Reissue Faded Rose Color High Tops, men's size nine and a half, women's size 11. These sold last for $25. There are none that I could really find currently listed, like definitely not a lot of this style. I think this is a more hard to find style. I'm gonna list mine right around $32 or best offer and we will see how those go and these are in pretty good shape a little bit of dirt on the soles but an overall really good condition these are one of my favorite bread and butter shoe brands to sell the brand is allegria this is a european brand i'm pretty sure but they a lot of times will sell like nursing shoes but these are a pair of flip-flops and they look like they've barely been worn. These are like comfort shoes, have a padded sole. These are a women's size 40 European, which is, I just realized too. Oh my goodness, how did I not see that before? They actually open, which is awesome. So these are a women's size nine and a half to 10, great size. These sell right around $25, which is what I'm gonna be listing them at. And it's the perfect time of year for these. These have a little, very little wear to them. This next pair, I'm gonna have to try to fix before I list. I did not realize that they were so beat up, but in great condition, in better condition, these can sell for like $50. And these are a Y2K pair of Faded Glory, super chunky slide sandals, the leather, women size seven and a half, six and a half actually. Um, but these have a lot of wear, like the sides here on both sides, on both shoes is really coming apart there as you could see like that normally originally was kind of glued together there but it is not anymore so i'm debating whether or not i want to this side is like way worse so i think that's why i'm going to fix it i'm gonna ask my boyfriend if he can help me fix it and get these listed up but if these were in like the soles are in really good good condition with these. If I can get these fixed, I'm going to be listing them right around $50, which is mind blowing for a vintage pair of Walmart shoes. So, but these give that total like Doc Martin vibe as well. Doc Martin sell sandals like this. And then we have two more items, kind of personal items. This my friend Cassie gave me. She was with us when we went to the bins this day. And this is actually like a, I thought it was a pillow at first, but it's actually like a draft stopper for a window or a door. It's all these cats, it's so freaking adorable. I thought this was vintage, but they're actually selling this on Amazon. So I'm like, maybe I'll keep this for myself. And also there is so much staining on it. It says not to wash it in the washing machine, but I might try anyways. Since I only paid a dollar and 26 cents for it, I really don't wanna to have to hand wash this. So I think I'm going to spray stain spray on it, throw it in the washing machine, and see how it goes. I just love this. I have a cat, if you don't know. So anything cat, anything with cats on it, I just love. And then last but not least, this piece actually sells for a decent amount of money, but don't mind the clatter. I actually have two mugs in it right now to kind of reshape it 
it was really bent up and stuff when I got it. But these resell for decent money, which was surprising when I looked it up. But this is a London Fog leather purse, embossed leather. I love this. You can kind of see. Still a little, still a little misshapen there. But... I love this leather. I really have been needing a bigger bag. My bag is just too small. The only con I would say about this one is that there is no upper zip closure. Like, I feel like I need a zipper closure. So I'm. that's really the only reason I'm still debating this. This exact piece, it looks like can go for around $40 pre-owned, which is mind-blowing. But it has side pockets here. It does have two snap closures on the top, which I do like but yeah so I'm unsure I really do want to keep this but I don't know how practical it's going to be day to day just because there's no top closure so we will see what I decide to do I really really do like this bag and I don't allow myself to keep nicer things a lot of times that I originally pick up to resell you know what I mean so I might treat myself for once and just keep it because I really really love this so yeah, you guys, that is everything I have to show you today. I really, really loved this haul. I'm going to photograph these items tomorrow. I don't think they will all be live by the time this video goes live, but they might be. I'm unsure. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you stopping by, and I hope to see you in my next one.